Hello my friends and welcome to the channel and today I'm gonna share with you how I like to organize my projects in Adobe Premiere Pro and maybe you can take some tips from this project and use it in your projects to help you organize your workflow a little bit better. So let's go ahead and start it. I already have my Adobe Premiere started here. And of course, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos because I'm gonna have more helpful videos coming out soon. And if you find this video helpful, go ahead and smash it and click that like button. Thank you guys. Enough for the intro, let's go get started. So as you can see, I have this project here. I haven't even started the timeline yet. So let's go ahead and start the timeline. I'm just gonna use this file to start the timeline. And as you can see, I have this one here. This is our timeline. And as you might know, the timeline and the actual clip looks exactly the same. The only difference is the original clip has this icon here in the bottom right corner where it looks like a film. And then it has this kind of waveform. This way you can tell it's actual clip. If you go down here, you can see this icon right here. And this means it's a sequence. It's not that clip itself. So for example, if I add another clip to this timeline here, this picture doesn't change. And you can see there is both clips on this timeline right now. So this is why you want to organize your project better so that if you have multiple files in your project, it's going to be easier to find them. And the more complicated projects you get where you have the sound effects, where you have audio, where you have video, we have stills and stuff like that. You want to make sure it's all organized properly. This way it will allow you to work way more efficient. So let's go ahead. I'm going to show you how I organize my project. If you find it helpful, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions, let me know as well. Let me know if you do it a little bit different than I do. So for example, if you change the view, you can change it using this icon right here. Or you can go ahead and click the control page up or control page down. This way it will allow you to switch between different previews. This is real handy, I like that. So let's go ahead and look at through this. And as you can see, it is really hard to find stuff when you need to find it, when you have it all kind of sitting like this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a few bins and you can create a bin by clicking on this icon right here or you can click control plus B or you can also go to the file menu on Windows machines and go to new bin and as you can see there is a shortcut for it Control b so i'm gonna try to create it in different ways so you can remember and i do recommend going if you just learn how to do that i do recommend going to this through this file menu because it does show you the shortcut this way you can remember the actual shortcut for it and eventually you're going to learn the shortcuts which is going to speed up your process so the first thing I like to do, I put the underscore. This way it will put my bin up in the list, like the first one in the list, instead of somewhere in the middle or on the bottom. Like it's, if, you, if you choose to sort it alphabetically, then it's gonna be right at the top. So let's go ahead and create one for the sequence first. Then I'm just gonna create another one, Control B. And I'm gonna call it sources. And this is where I'm gonna put all my video sources and as you can see I have a few video sources right here so I'm gonna put them in this bin with the sources and I also have my timeline I'm gonna rename it and I'm gonna call this timeline project organization the sequence name has changed on the timeline as well I'm gonna throw it into sequences and all the new sequences that I'm gonna create I'm gonna throw them in the sequence folder or bin then I have also a few audio footages. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and create another bin and I'm gonna call it audio. And I'm gonna throw all my music. You can call it music or whatever you find convenient. So you know that you put all your music files in this bin. Create another bin for all these extra files. I call them assets. So I'm just not gonna create another bin and call it assets. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to throw all this into this assets bin. See, now you have very good organization of your project. And if you need to find something, it will be really easy to find because you know that if you're looking for the source, then you can go to this source. And if you have, for example, sources with different frame rate or from different cameras, you can call it 
sources from camera A or sources from camera B or whatever name from the camera, like sources from the smartphone, sources from the camera, then this will allow you to really go quickly through all your sources. And you can create bins with, let's say, B-rolls. You can create it with uh, sound effects. You can create with the uh, stills, like still pictures that you're going to insert. And for example, if you do like any stills on the, let's go ahead and open this up. So for example, I open up this in the source monitor, then I take a picture. It creates a still and it will include it into the project. It will import it into the project. Make sure to check mark this import into project and then click OK. And now if you go to your project, you can see that Adobe Premiere has created this still. So for this case, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create another bin and call it stills. And I'm going to throw all my stills into this bin. So yeah, this is pretty simple. This is how I like to organize my project. And I find that it helps me navigate through all the files much quicker. And I don't have to look through hundreds of different files trying to find the one that I need. And this is a good practice because if you get used to organize the project like this, this will make it a lot easier in the future when your project will start growing and you will apply more FX, more presets because you can create different presets. In the end, it will make your workflow much easier and you will work more efficiently. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Please let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions or if you have any comments. Let me know if I have missed anything and maybe you organize your projects different. I would like to know how you organize your project because if we share the knowledge then we all get better. So this is the key. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.